Alright, so last video I talked about building a cooler and I talked about this control system and how it controls the cooler. Uh, this time I wanted to talk about tuning it and specifically what I had to do is do a lot of tests and in those tests I needed to save the data from both of the temperature probes. And uh, there's a couple of different ways uh, to, to do this. Now with Arduinos it's really easy to visualize data. Uh, for instance here I have the Arduino is running so I'll go over to the computer. Here's my code and I have it spitting out a data string which is just a string so I can visualize it but and then I go to my serial monitor boom it's 75 degrees in my apartment and then I can kind of blow on one of these boom it goes up um, so you can tell that it's it's working I can visualize that data look it's going up because I blew on it um, now the problem is is that doing this over serial connection is hard to save the data and so you have a couple of different options the first of which is I have one right here is a uh, data logging shield basically it's just got a little SD card slot there um, the problem with this that I found is is that it's the SD cards that I have at least are not the most reliable so you'll plug in your SD card, you'll run your six hour test or however long it is, you'll plug the SD card into your computer and you're like, oh crap. It corrupted the SD card, now I gotta start completely over from scratch. Um, and that's no no good. Furthermore, you also have you have two sets of code on the one Arduino. And that kind of makes the code really hard to read. Basically you would have your code to control the system but also the code to send it to the to the SD card um, which makes it just more complicated and it, it doesn't need to be that complicated and so what I did was is I made a simple Python script that um, would log the data to a CSV file and from this project came a new project it is a serial data logger uh, let's make sure we're not okay so basically what I have here is a GUI program built in Python using Tkinter um, to basically save my data uh, and I thought I'd just show it off I'm not gonna go through this code super uh, line by line or anything like that if you want me to I will comment down below if you want me to go through all this code uh, and let me know but we'll run this here once and so we get this little window here uh, basically it says just name your file. What do you want your file name to be? Um, and what it's going to send, it's going to send this file to the same directory as your whatever this Python script is in. So we're going to name ours just output for now. And then I, I programmed it in. If you look here, where do we have this? Here, right here is where we name our file. File name equals self.file entry. And this this little box right here is the file entry box. COM port, we know that from our Arduino. We go to Tools, Serial, Port. COM 13, Arduino, Genuino, Uno. So we're on COM port 13. So then I would put in COM port 13. Now, split at. This is where it gets kind of complicated. Uh, so I'll put this over here. Basically what I have this doing here is I have a string and from that string I, I name a string data string and that's basically all the data that I want to put in and then I have this string function here that takes sensor one and changes it from an int to a string or I think it's a float yeah float so it changes it from a float to a string and then I add or I concatenate a string with a comma and then from the comma I go plus and concatenate the second sensor so the first set of data is going to be sensor 1 the second set is going to be sensor 2 and it's split at this uh, this comma and so that's what I want to name my split at um, box it's just a comma alright so let's go ahead and give it a shot here start and look at there I got um, all of my data is being logged basically here so we'll let it go for a little bit we'll breathe into this one again
So now from this we could have we could have figured out what the cycle time or what the duty cycle is of the air conditioner and all that stuff. So as you saw when I breathed on this here, it uh, it went up to 77, still kind of going up. It might make 78. Eh, no, probably not. Anyway, so it went up, and uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and stop this, and then we'll exit out of our program. So now here. I have my output.csv file and we'll open it in a notepad because I don't have Excel fortunately. But here it is. You can see I have variable zero. I don't know why that does that, but I'll have to look into that code part of it. But we have a header and we have our data saved right here. So then you could import this into a CSV editor and then graph it and all that kind of fun stuff. So anyways, I just thought I'd show off my uh, another little project. Again, if you want to see the code for all of these things more in depth, like a line by line kind of uh, almost like a tutorial maybe, go ahead and comment below and let me know and maybe I'll make that video a little later. Uh, in any case, uh, thanks for watching.